Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So now we have created a very basic project in Django and we have learned almost each and every concept in Django. Now it is time to deploy our website on a server. Okay, so to deploy we are going to use Heroku. But before that, there are many security aspects which we need to take care of. So here we need to take care of uh, security key and debug right before deploying we can't you know uh, deploy the project with security key okay so here you can see they have given us the security warning like keep the secret key used in production secret okay like uh, we need to keep this secret key in a secret uh, you know file which is known as dot env environment variable file okay and we don't need to keep this debug equals to true because it will show the user errors and errors has each and every path of the uh, files which we are using so if we keep this false then when error in case error occurs then it will not show a particular error it will directly show bad request okay so first we are going to install one package which is django decouple so django decouple is basically used to uh, you know store all your uh, secret uh, credentials in dot env file and we need to uh, just locate that uh, variables inside that file here uh, i i hope it makes sense right well if you will implement then you will know it so first i will say django decouple and go over here copy this command and open terminal okay make sure your environment variable is activated and paste this i'll hit enter okay decouple has been installed now i will scroll down and uh, you can see we need to import this config uh, function so i'll just copy i'll hide my terminal for now and i will import that config uh, function over here okay then yeah you can see here secret key is equals to config secret key so we are going to do one thing that in root in a root uh, directory we are going to create dot e and v okay now here we are going to paste all our credentials so First, I will just copy this secret key. Then I will paste over here. Then I will copy this debug equals to true. And I will paste that also over here. Okay. Then I will go to documentation again. And over here, um, see, they have shown us like how we can, you know, do this. So we need to remove uh, this single quotes we don't need okay and don't leave any spaces okay good mm, yeah that's pretty much it yep this is it let me see the templates setting um, yeah everything is fine okay now here we have added the variable name and the value of that uh, variable okay so we'll go to settings again and i will just delete this we don't need now okay and here i will write config and in parenthesis i will pass this variable name over here okay uh, we need to pass in single quotes okay now i will remove this true and yes we need to make change over here we will say false okay save this file also and copy this debug variable name and here write config and in single quotes i will paste that variable name okay now we have took care of this both the things okay so uh let's run our project
okay our project is running fine let me open it okay now we need to check whether this debug equals to fall is false is uh, working properly or not so we are going to make one error so we'll go to main views and in homes.py i will just you know uh, just change the template name in uh, this template underscore name variable now come over here and refresh um i don't think so it is working why it is not working okay we need to pass boolean uh, to comma and go to documentation and over here they have showed us like default equals to false and the cast will be boolean so just copy that from there and paste it over here now refresh hmm. we need to do it again run server okay you can see like we have set this uh, debug equals to false okay so this will not allow us to run our project on local host okay so whenever we will deploy so we will add the url of our uh, website over here and this will allow us so if i say local host okay and save it then it should allow us to run the project you see the project has been started now if i will come over and see we got bad request because we have set the default equals to false and if i make it true over here and come back then you can see we have still you know here false so i will make true over here also T R U E. okay so it is capital save refresh we need to run the server again so i'll just terminate the server and run it again refresh you can see we got this error and we also got that uh, we have any particular address on the local in a allowed host and debug is also true so you must keep this list empty okay for now we are going to keep it false because in next lecture we are going to deploy it so false false and here also false F false okay save uh, terminate your server run the server again now it should show us bad request okay so yeah this is it for today's video guys and in next video we are going to deploy our web site our website on heroku and also we are going to see that how we can deploy our postgres sql sorry how we can first of all configure postgres sql database to our project and deploy it along with our website okay so anyone comes on that website they can log in save their data upload the blog etc okay so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in next one thank you